Look, ain't no more of this going on. Ain't no more what? Kind of fucking Taco Bell. This is trash. Yes. There's a trash over there. Quit putting it in my box. I have kids for a fucking reason. Quit putting it in my box. American Pale Ale. All I know about all right, pale ales. All right, Sam, the cooking guy. All I know about pale ales is they're nasty. No. You try it together? They're not, yeah. All right. That right there. I'm waiting for Oh it. my god! You that like tastes it. like a damn pine cone dipped in axe. <laughs> Why do you gotta throw axe on it? Oh my god, because that's what it tastes like! Mm -mm. Been there, done it! Hell, I got the shirt! You better burn that damn shirt. I don't want that shirt around. <laughs> Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We're glad you're here to uh, join us. I'm Bonjour not, I'm, to all I'm, the uh, I'm, French folk out there. I'm not waiting on you. I'm done. I'm, I'm, it's, it's beer o'clock. It's beer o'clock? It's beer damn What clock. glass are you using? What glass do you think? Why That's all Dayford at? glass. On today's episode, we have got, we're going to start out with a little bit of uh, everybody's favorite segment. I'm starting off viewers. with the viewers. You can wait on that viewers. Damn. He just downed it. Viewers, rides, we've got some pretty good looking rides for you guys, and uh, I'm sure. Damn, you need to slow it down a little bit huh? there. Excuse me? Now, speaking of the viewers' rides. Why would you tell me that? Viewers' rides. I'm looking for ugly bikes. If you have an ugly bike, we're going to have a competition. We might even do a giveaway. I don't know. Um, if you have an ugly bike, that is uh, your bike, your buddy's bike, a bike that you see, uh, maybe on your daily route, you see a really ugly bike. Do me a favor, take a picture of it, send it to us. We're going to have an ugly bike off. And so far, I've only got one entry and <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat. And we are going to be working on the all new 2021 Schwinn Ascension. We got the sauce. We got the sauce. Now, that is the Schwinn Ascension's name. Stephen Thomas, thank you for uh, nicknaming the bike for us. We've got the Schwinn Ascension, the sauce. We are going to be... Putting the Rock Shocks Recon RL 100 millimeters of travel 29 or What's fork. funny is people. I guess a lot of people didn't watch the videos of mm. that because a lot of people have been asking how come we are uh, uh, about testing that fork. And uh -huh. like, we did an initial impression. Yeah. We did a real time review on that. This fork. is the Recon All Black, very beautiful fork. Now uh, we did do a real time review on it. We did the initial review on it. Initial and, impression. Um, yeah, initial impression. So make sure you guys go back. Uh, all I have to say is we have. Definitely come leaps and bounds on our channel, I think. So uh, please don't cringe. Old video yeah, today. when you watch this, yeah, I watched the old video today. So we're gonna be putting these on there today, and they just sound everything sizes up. Uh, now, as you heard, you kind of hear the rattle here. That fork is a boost fork. It's a 15 millimeter by 110. So uh, we're gonna talk about that when we get to the install. But man, um, yeah, this is the 2021 Swin Ascension. It's getting a whole new front upgrade. And uh, probably next to come is brakes. I don't know. What do you guys think we should upgrade next? Brakes. Uh, what do you think we should get to the uh, viewers' rides? All right. Viewers' rides. Everybody's favorite segment. Let's do this. Wolfman's three beers deep. Four beers deep. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, let's do this. All right. Let's look at this. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Is that a Vetus? That it's is a Vetus. Vetus. Now, that is Jamie H4. Old uh -huh. coffee purchaser uh -huh. himself. That is his daughter's bike. Okay. Yeah, he he does his little builds on these bikes. I think Homeboy lives in Virginia or Homeboy? something. Homeboy lives building in Virginia. Building his own trails, and he says that we're gonna oh. have to go out and visit one of these. Oh, days. he's building trails. Virginia, Wisconsin, Alabama. I don't know where he's at. Whoa. Or this is his daughter's Venus Nucleus VRW. Now something cool with this was uh, he started. I he was, know. Venus did a step through frame. Well, What's really cool was uh, he got on to sending us pictures of this because his daughter's bike has the Suntour Pixen on there. Oh, okay. And check out the uh, decal. It's a purple decal. Yeah, I Now, like that. Jamie, cool. I don't know if it's your favorite color, your daughter's favorite color, but purple is my favorite color. I love that bike. I love that gray. Now, let's look at another picture here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a whole WTB 27.5 wheel set. Mm. I think they're 2.4s is what he said on there. Uh, um, 140. Now, on that Pixen, he's running 100, 140. The pedals. 140 millimeters of travel on the Apixen. Uh, he's got a Jessica headset. 
Sorry, Jason. Mm -hmm. He's got the uh, Race Ace Chester pedals, and he's also running... I was going to say, those look like either Chester or Fookers. Mm -hmm. Or she's running a box for 8-speed drivetrain. You see that on that top tube? That's a Wolf Tick video sticker. Hey, that's a Way to represent Jamie's daughter. Go. Yes. Daughter. I like the bike, dude. It's clean. You know? Yeah. I'll if like I was it. a girl, like, uh -huh. I'd be riding it. Well, you need one then because you act like a girl half the time. <laughs> nice ride. Bam! What do you think about that? I think I would love to own one. <laughs> I've been playing all day with that puppy, but uh, why is it on viewers' rides? Well, because that's his tractor. Oh, oh, and he is building his very own cat's meow. Oh, 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 really? <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Really, cat's Jamie meow. Jamie H. Ford, build his own. Dude, we will have to go out there, and, and you'll have to compare it to the cat's meow one day. If you build it, I will come. <laughs> Jamie H. Ford, I'm looking forward Movie to it. Movie quote. Yeah. <laughs> now, check that out. Are there some similarities in that uh, frame? Uh -huh. I was going to say that frame looks an awful lot like a Humpty Hump there. Uh -huh. It looks a little... It now, does, this huh? is Man. Johan Mendoza's bike. Nice Homeboy is from Peru. Oh! He's from Peru. Well, that makes more he sense. He says this is like a, this is one of their local bikes. This bike stock goes for 260 bucks. It's a 2020 Jeff City Zen 29er. You know, it's cool to see what other countries That's have That's so cool. Look how much it looks yeah. like a Taft. It looks a lot like uh -huh. a Taft. It looks like a Project Humpty like, Dumpty. Yeah, it does. It has a lot of that look to it's it. A it's clean different bike. in the back, though. Um, yeah, let me go to this next picture here. Oh. He's got the Jessica, was it the A6? Jessica, whatever? Head, um, Jessica Bars. Um, Sorry, bars Jason. that we got. It's a, a tapered head tube. Mm -hmm. He's got a, a Evolve 36 tooth cassette um, with two Paul hubs. I don't know. I think he said something about it not being a real tapered head tube. Something oh, like that. Oh, is it not? Is it vapor? Something like that. He's got a Fly 100 forks on that thing. That thing is sweet. Like, it's really cool, like you said, to see what other countries have yeah. as far as bikes. I tell you, he must um, be he must be relatively tall unless that's just not as, unless that's misleading. That looks like a long way from Might there. have a picture of him. Isn't that a cool picture? Yeah, that, that's a pretty cool picture. That's a picture. beautiful picture. Well, let me tell um, all you. Where's that Let's see it. I'm going with Peru. Oh. Now, I'm going to tell all you oh. non-Spanish speaking folk out there oh. what the sign oh says. Boy, no. Here we Bienvenidos go. al Stio Historica de Batala. Now what that means is that's a damn historical marker. Okay? Now, Horo Solar de Choros, <laughs> that means they got solar panels down there and they're cooking churros with them. Can you please stop? You're, you're offending people at this <laughs> now, point. Now, if you need any further, uh, what do you call translation. that, translation, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to help each and every one of you. Please. Non-speaking. Now, let him know to not do that anymore. Johan, sweet bike, sweet picture. I love the uh, setup you got going on there, Is man. Is it Johan or Johan? Johan. Have you seen that bike before? Yep. Does it look similar to you? Because it doesn't to me. Okay. And the reason I'm saying, have you seen it before? Our boy, uh, our boy Nutty. Oh, you know, Nutty. Boy with the beautiful uh -huh. hair. Old Ca Al Capitan's cog loves his hair. The beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. This is Nutty. Now this is a Nutty carbon... does have nice hair. He does. This is a 26er. It's a carbon wrapped frame. I don't know what bike it is. I asked him what bike is. He never got back to me. I don't know what bike you're running, Nutty. Let us know if you're watching. Well, this. I'm sure that Wolf Dick Nation let us know as well. I'll, I'll be impressed. Wolf Dick Nation, can you guess? Oh. I mean, what I have kind of full bike confidence is this? I thought it was a hydro, hyper hydro form, but that's a different rear uh, yeah, setup that, on that. Yeah, that setup is a little different. Um, okay, next picture. Um, he's got a cycling bro, uh, cycling weight, hero. Weight stem and bars, got some zoom brakes. Uh, the blue that. zoom brakes, yeah. He's yeah. got, um, his fork is a Cycling Hero 32 120 millimeter. He's got the Virtue saddle. I know all about them saddles because I broke one. Um, he what also, haven't you broke? He also has a... Uh, where the heck did I what write is down it? Down? That's that's not a saddle. That's a. Oh, he's also got an Exaform A5 rear shock. Yeah, you kind of got out of whack there. Yeah, don't don't mention all that. Yeah. I don't know what kind of bike this is. I accept crank set. I mean, look how clean that thing looks. His carbon wrap job was pretty pretty well done. Rock bro pedals. Yeah, I see the rock bro pedals. Not a bad one. Let me go back to the first picture. Mm. What Wolf Dick Nation? What bike is that? Yeah, what what bike? Remember that seat. It's hanging up there. I broke it. Next bike we have got. This is the last bike of viewers' rides. Well, you ready for this? No, I haven't. I got a beer to drink. This is a blast from the Hang past. On. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ready and mm -hmm. click or take it. Bam! Oh, how do you like yeah, that? I, yeah, I love it. It's a blast from the past, it is. man. This is Jim Montague's. Genesis Velotti. Dude, mm -hmm. Velotti. He said this is a major budget build. He's got yeah. a Bucklose tapered crank set, the one okay. that we put on the Sandstorm. Okay. Right? He's got that. He's got Bucklose forks up front. Uh, he's got a Shell 32 tooth oval crank or a chain ring. 
Okay. He's got 780 bars and he put new headset bearings in there. That's how budget this man is. He said, you know what? The hell with the new headset. I'm just going to get new bearings. Oh, well, yeah. if it works. Jim Montague. I see he's got some wrap on his uh, on his chainstay. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. That buckles with uh -huh. his pedals. That's pretty clean well, that down looks, there. It does. It looks good. Mm -hmm. That's a funky looking buckles fork. I haven't seen those ones yet. I think that's their newer models with the... Is uh, it? Yeah. yeah he's I still like rocking it. the uh, same shifter and oh, yeah. brake lever yeah. there. Um, and I forgot but the brand. But he changed the grips, though. Yeah, change the grips out. Some weird leather wrap looking thing. What grips is that? I have no His clue. His double locking looking grips, sir. A damn Genesis, you know? Yeah. I seen that picture. That's what I'm oh, man, about. I gotta show the Genesis. I think it's a wake stem with the spider. We have there. like, we have a handful of Genesis people still. We do. We, and, and we're due to bring the Genesis back around. Sometime this summer, we'll bring you back out. And... Remember, please. Everybody out there, if you have a ugly bike, seen an ugly bike, has to be a function ugly bike, we are going to have an ugly bike competition, viewers' rides. I've got one picture. It might be the winner. Yeah. I mean, the damn thing's and ugly. I think I'm going to put the, uh, the, the email in our about. Well, okay. I mean, it's in our about now, but I guess from a cell phone, you can't see Put the email in the about if you guys need to email us anything as far as pictures mm -hmm. go. Now, what do you say we go ahead and jump onto the sauce? And put a new fork on it, yeah. new headset, new bars, new stem. Let's do it. Viewers rides. Another good segment. Let me get some drunken eBay later. All right, guys. Go and talk about what all we got planned for the Project Sauce today. Now, the stem we are going to go with is a KRSEC stem. We'll put some of these in the affiliate links below. I ordered the stem a while back. I think it was like $25. It's a 50 millimeter length, no rise to it. Core bar. This is a 760 millimeter long bar it's got a 35 millimeter rise on it the core durox pretty clean looking aluminum bar feels pretty quality some pretty good reviews again we'll put some affiliate links below and i got this bar for 27 55 27 bucks pretty much but the core bar uh now we had to take off the uh w t b s x 19 uh, wheel set, the front wheel, we had to take this off of Project Humpty Dumpty. Now if you guys remember when we were doing the Project Humpty Dumpty build, we had the entire wheel set and that came with tires, wheels, you guys want to check that video out, go back and watch it. Uh, you can't get these anymore, um, but one thing, uh, reason we're having to use this is because we do not have a wheel right now. We're going to have to order one. Um, we do not have a wheel that has a 15 millimeter through axle. Now, the fork that we're going to be using is the Rock Shocks back here, and it does have a 15 millimeter through axle, but it's by 110 instead of 100 uh, millimeters. So what we had to do, we had to buy, and we talked about this a while back before I really knew what boost and all that was. We had to get a little spacer kit. And the spacer kit came with two spacers. It also came with a rotor adapter. So this rotor is actually bolted onto an adapter right here, and then that's bolted onto the hub itself. And uh, basically, it just makes up for that lost space, so you don't have to necessarily have a boost rim. We'll put an affiliate link to those as well. This is the Jessica headset. We love them so much on this channel. Sorry, Jason. He's not really that big of a fan of them. Uh, now, the headset size is a 44 to 56 millimeter. And that's pretty much, I mean, so far we haven't found one that's not this size um, on the uh, Schwinn tapered uh, head tubes yet. So that's a good thing, I guess. You can just buy a whole bunch of these and get some back stock going. That's what we do. Now, this is where it gets cool. So we've talked about these before, too. Now everybody that's new to the channel, um, I really like these Jessica headsets for this main reason. This here is a crown race. Of course, you slipped over your steer tube on your fork, right? And it's going to be a tapered fork. Now, if you are trying to run a fork that has a straight steerer, you can still use this on a tapered head tube, but you're going to also use this little adapter here. We're going to slip that right on the inside just like so. Now we can run a straight steer tube on a tapered head tube just in case say uh, you know you're trying to keep it very budget and all you can afford is a straight steer. Well get your straight steer. When you have enough money to uh, um, maybe go up to a tapered fork a little bit more expensive then you know what open up your damn headset and go pop that sucker out and you're ready for a tapered. Anyway it'll save you some money in the long run. Jessica headset. Check out the affiliate links below. Let's go ahead and talk about the Rock Shock recon 100 millimeter fork now this fork here is a little heavier 
right? It's like 5.32 pounds or something like that. I love the finish on this guy. It's all matte black with a little bit of gloss on the rock shocks here. Uh, as we said earlier, it is a 15 by 110 millimeter through axle. So uh, if you guys do not have a boost wheel, you're going to have to get the boost adapter with the through axle. Uh, it's got a 51 millimeter offset and uh, 100 millimeters of travel. Of course, it's for a 29er. Air fork, it does have the rebound here with that funky little key, so we'll have to play with that too. But yeah, man, the uh, RockShox Recon, this is what we're going to be throwing on the Ascension. All right, so let's go ahead and start breaking down the Ascension. We're going to get the fork off there, the bars off there. Uh, we're going to stick with the same brakes right now, so there's no need to um, unmount all that stuff yet. All righty, now there's a lot of people on the channel that constantly ask, hey, um, I'm looking at changing the fork out in the comp zert, or my aluminum comp. I'm looking at changing it out my boundary, the Ascension, the TAF. Axum. Well, I want to let everybody know out there, get a headset. And it's always a lot to put in the comments, try to explain this to people, but check it out. We're going to pull the bottom here and go down here to the bottom. Now, those are your bearings, correct? Now, if yes. you guys know this, that is a straight steer yeah, tube. Yeah. Let me go here. Okay, go ahead. Okay, if you notice, this is a straight steer tube, right? Which most of the time, like I showed you guys in a Jessica headset, you can kind of look at it and go, oh, well, it's got an adapter on there. This has an adapter on there, but you cannot take that off. This right here is all part of the upper part of this fork. So you cannot get that off there. I don't know how many people have tried to do that. I tried to do it. So you cannot. So since this has an adapter on it, or it's made on there pretty much, make sure you guys get a whole new headset because you're going to be without a crown race. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, you want to keep holding that? Let's pop this out real quick. I want quick. to change batteries. They're not fly there and go in my beer. That make for good footage. I was looking over there for the beer. Not go in my beer. I'll whoop some. Make sure you're not gouging. Yeah, don't gouge. Inside. Okay, so Did we you are. Mess up the walls in there. I always mess up the walls. Now let's go ahead and set the new headset in this puppy using homemade tools. All right, well, the uh, headset installation went very well. Uh, looks really level and clean all the way around it. Now, I grease my headset cups. Uh, does everybody grease theirs? Um, I've heard some people say they do, some people say they don't. But anyway, what I'm getting at is, I think I may be retiring my uh, all thread piece. Really? Um, well, I mean, it works fine, you know, but I would like to put together another um, budget tools video. Uh -huh. And I would really be curious on what what the difference is i mean this is basically just washers and uh some 15 millimeter nuts and a piece of all thread and it works just fine uh sometimes it gets a little cockeyed on you if you're doing it for a tapered one for the most part it works on the straights just fine but i wouldn't mind trying to find a budget one and just seeing how it how it does you know having more of that tool option um i think this homemade tools is part of our charm all right, so what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and build up that front wheel. We're going to put the tire, the tube on there. We already have the rotor adapter, which is fine. Uh, we're going to put it on the fork. We're going to put this bike on the floor, and then we're going to start building it up from there so I can kind of have a, a decent workspace to really set the compression and everything with the fork. And uh, we'll see you guys then. But let's go ahead and start doing it. Um, I'm just glad this headset came out really good. You can't go wrong with the Jessica. Or, or can you, Jason? All right, so we got everything all butted up and looking good. Got it all greased up. I can't wait for you guys to see what this bike looks like with these rock shocks on here. Looks amazing. So um, I was going through my uh, spacer stash, and I found me some cool spacers. Uh, one's got a little race face emblem on there. And another cool thing that I found, um, I'm hoping this is going to be the perfect size, right at the exact perfect size that I wanted. I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe dropping this down one. Um, Something I found that's just pretty cool. If you guys remember aluminum comp zerker build, I kept thinking core, core. What have I used that's core? I had a core stem cap that I didn't use on the aluminum comp zerker, and there's the stem cap there. I kept trying to figure out what in the world did I use that was core? I used something. So this uh, core stem cap is going to be perfect on this build. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and stick that bar through the top. We're going to uh, redo and put the uh, brake levers on this guy back on the bar. Then we're going to put those awesome uh, Shuby bikes. Shuby bikes hooked us up with the PNW orange grips. They're going to go perfect with the Ascension. It's coming along. Pretty quick install. Didn't take too long, especially since we didn't have to uh, cut down the forks and 
add a star nut and everything else. Alrighty, well there you have it. This is the all new 2021 Schwinn Ascension. Now we've got the RockShox Recon forks up front, 100 millimeters of travel. They do have the boost. That's kind of a pain in the butt when you have to buy the spacers and all that. But I guess we can kind of counteract that if we were to get a boost front wheel. I'm not sure which what we're going to go with yet. Probably a non-boost so we can have options with it. Also, we have got the KRSC stem up there with that awesome 760 core bar with the rise on it. When I'm on it, it feels pretty comfortable. We'll do a whole real-time review on this bike and just let you guys know how everything's kind of meshing together. So uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on notifications on if you guys want to see us do a little bit more work to this bike. As always, we appreciate you watching Wolf Tick videos. Please uh, go down to the description below. And uh, if you guys would like to help support our channel, not only can you see some of the stuff that we use today in the affiliate links, but you guys can uh, also buy us a cup of coffee. We'll appreciate that as well everything goes back into the channel so we can keep on creating content but guys we will see you on the next one appreciate all those uh viewers rides too ugly bikes let me know send me some pictures ugly bikes